and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another quick swatch party video. Now I'm sure you can guess from the title, I did pick up some of the new Colored Rain mini palettes. I got two of them. So if you're interested in seeing swatches on my skin tone, just keep watching. Also just a quick reminder, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below. I usually upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. You can also follow me on all my other social medias which I will link down in the description box below. Also if you haven't had a chance yet, check out some of my other videos. I like to do reviews, hauls, and will I buy it videos. So yeah, check out some of those videos and without further ado, let's get into my colored rain swatch party. Now you guys, I did grab some of the stuff I already own from Colored Rain. If you remember, I did do a haul or two a couple of months ago maybe. I do have a few liquid lipsticks from them. These are actually really good. I haven't worn this crazy bright color yet. I think this is going to be maybe next summer. But I do wear a lot of these neutral shades and I really like this formula. So I'm very happy to have those from Colored Rain. I also have Queen of Hearts palette. I did do a review on this palette because they did go ahead and make this palette permanent. This is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time and you will see a lot of YouTubers say the same thing. I think this is currently available for order on their website. I actually got this for Christmas last year so if you are looking for a wonderful gift for someone, definitely pick up that palette. Another thing, my most recent purchase from Colored Rain is this huge Z palette that they came out with. This is a Z palette that holds 96 single eyeshadows. I actually do have quite a few loose eyeshadows from Colored Rain in this palette as well. I'm obviously not gonna individually point those out to you. If you are interested, I do have a video coming out with all the shades that are in this palette. So I will go ahead and link that when it goes up in this video if you guys are interested in checking it out. But yeah, this is a really cool invention of theirs. I don't think there's a Z palette bigger than this currently and all my eyeshadows, my single eyeshadows basically fit in here now. So it's going to keep me nice and organized and I'm so happy to have that. So I got home and this was sitting in my mailbox. Now I did do the pre-order on these palettes. They are currently available on the Colored Rain website. I will bring you guys a review in a few weeks time once I have time to test these palettes out. But I always like to throw up a quick swatch video as soon as I get the palettes in case you guys are interested in buying some of these yourself. So I usually like to open the box on screen. This is like really well taped, my gosh. Somebody really went to town to make sure you can get into this box easily. So I guess that's good. I've always had a pretty good, decent um, experience with Colored Rain customer service. I was a little bit upset because on that giant palette, if you do follow me on Instagram, I bought it for $45 one week and then the next week it was on sale for $27. So I was a little bit upset about that because I did write to the brand and tell them that I had very recently purchased it and I never heard from them, which I thought was a little bit upsetting, especially when I feel like I've done a really good job of supporting the brand. But you know, just in the future, they do have a lot of sales. So if you guys are considering buying from them, I would just wait for a sale if you're not in a hurry to pick these things up. So this is what it comes in. It's bubble wrapped. Here is the receipt. Let me see here. The price of each of these is $36. Now Huda Beauty just announced that she's coming out with mini palettes and those are $27 each and they have more shades in them. So it's a little bit crazy how much more these cost, but also keep in mind, this is an indie brand. so. Prices can vary depending on ingredients and things like that. So this is what it all looks like. I also got a free matte lip paint. So I'm excited for that because like I said, I do like the formula of these and I wonder what this shade is. It's called Satin Creme. So let me just take a peek at this and see what it, what the shade looks like. And it also says on here that it is cruelty free and has a six month shelf life. Okay, so this is what the shade looks like. I just wanna make sure I don't have this shade. I don't believe I do, but it looks very much like some of the nudes I already have, but I'll get some good wear out of this. I do like their formula, so that's good. And that was just free with my purchase. So 
Here are the two palettes. Again, I have Beauty Rust and Very Cute. Let's go ahead and swatch Very Cute first. This is an interesting color combo, very bright. And also, just so you guys know, I will throw up pictures of the two I didn't buy. This is one of the cool tone palettes, and then there's one more warm tone and one more cool tone. So they did four palettes total. And of course, you can see there's six shades in here. I just thought these colors were gonna be really gorgeous, and it looks like they're there's three mattes and three shimmers, so let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys. So here are the swatches from the Berry Cute palette. I love this first shade, which is called Pinkberry. It's a very beautiful, like, duochrome, pinky gold. I've seen this color in the Huda Beauty palette, the Desert Dusk, and the Rose Gold palette has a shade like this. Also, Julia's Place has a color very similar to this in, I think, the Magic palette. And then we have Purpleberry, which is a beautiful grayish purple. I think it's really, really pretty because purples are really hard to do, but you can definitely see this is a purple, but it has a really beautiful grayish look to it. Then we have Platinum Berry, which is basically a gray shade. Kissberry, of course, is going to be a beautiful transition shade with my skin tone. Hama Berry is beautiful. That's probably one of my favorite shades in the palette. It is uh, basically a purple with lots of pink and purple glitter in it. And then Love Berry, which is a beautiful smoky brown, like a deep brown shade. So I'll definitely be using that to darken up my outer crease. Also, if you guys are curious, it is carbo taxing, but there is a tiny mirror. People have been really loving smaller palettes, guys, and I feel like Color Rain is the first brand to really come out with mini palettes other than ColourPop. I feel like ColourPop definitely inspired the trend, but I have a feeling brands have kind of figured out they can make more money selling smaller palettes because they give you less product, but they still charge quite a bit. Like, I don't know that these were priced well at $36. I feel like that's a little bit overpriced. I'm glad I only got two. Especially now seeing those Huda ones, I'm like, these are way more expensive. But this one is the one I knew I wanted for sure. This is called Beauty Rust. And of course, if you're into warm tones, this is going to be right up your alley. Oh my gosh. They're so deep and like, oh, this is going to be so perfect for fall. So this palette only has one shimmer shadow in it. So let me go ahead and stop talking and do some swatching. You guys, look at these finger swatches. Look at the shimmer shade. This one's called Dream. Oh my lord. Okay guys, I know this is a little bit harder to see that first shade natural is like very, very much close to the color of my skin tone. But this palette is gorgeous. So the first shade is natural. Then we have Dream. We have Nighty Night. Daisy is like already screaming my name. It's like that pukey brown color. And then we have Recharge and Dusk is like a beautiful berry oxblood color. I haven't really seen a lot of shades like this. I think Makeup Geek has one called Bitten or is it Cherry Cola? I can't, Cherry Cola I think, but this is definitely like deeper and more rich looking. So here is a good look. I hope this gives you guys some kind of idea of what these palettes might look like on your skin, but I'm completely obsessed. The shimmer shade is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful warm orange with gold flecks running through it. Also, I did realize I should probably swatch the liquid lipstick for you guys, so let me go ahead and quickly just do a quick swipe. I think everyone is getting the same shade, but there it is. It's a beautiful nude shade, perfect for pairing with both of these palettes that I got. So I already like the color green formula, like I already said. So I'm very, very excited to play with these shadows and experience these palettes. I will have a review up as soon as I can. You guys know I like to wear all the colors in the palettes and get a good idea of what the formula is like, whether it's similar to the other shadows I have from the brand. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.